It's almost 3.30 in the morning, and we just got Sonic News and Sega News. This is what I hate about time zones. I'm not even wearing my Sonic shirt, what the hell is wrong with me? Alright, so before I start this, I'm gonna be whispering because people are sleeping, right? It's almost 3.30 in the morning, so let's do this quietly. My eyes are red, wow. So if you guys didn't know, me and Nathan did a discussion video not long ago uh, talking about the Sonic Netflix series that's coming out. Uh, next year, actually, it's coming out next year, and we did a little bit of a discussion on like who's going to be animating the series, who's behind it all. We got some news about that. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Tyson Hess, who was involved with the Sonic Mania Adventures series as well as the Team Sonic Racing Overdrive series, he's also the beautiful man who's for fixing <sighs> Sonic in the movie for, for getting for, instead of getting this. He gave us that. Thank you, Tyson. A bit of proof. But yeah, we just got word that uh, Tyson Hess, who was behind those animations and movie redesign, is not going to be involved with the animated series. He says that he knew about it for a while. I'm getting this not if, uh, this source from Tales Channel, so if I'm going to leave a link in the description to their website down below, uh, which is where I normally get all the news and updates. Uh, but it specifically says here, Tyson has not involved in 2022 Sonic the Hedgehog animated series. So as for what Tyson said, this is what he had to say about the actual series, and I'll quote from Tails channel. I'm not involved with this show, I've been in a loop about it, but I don't have the bandwidth to be a part of it right now. This kind of means that he's going to be a lot busy with the Sonic movie too, like we all know that's coming up very soon, like it's filming begins in March. We got that confirmation, so. But knowing he's gonna be involved with the movie, the sequel, I think he's just gonna be going there, you know, to help tweak the design for Tails, Knuckles, and possibly Robotnik? I don't know. How does he do that? Like, bring a character from the real world, make him probably look, him, look, make him look more like the games, I guess. I don't know. I am tired. <laughs> So I, I guess that he's gonna say that he is he doesn't really have enough time, you know, to hop on to something different, knowing he's gonna be very busy for the next couple of months, you know, working on the Sonic movie and everything, so I understand that, I understand that, but there's just one thing I kinda wanna spot about that. But I kinda grew with the animation that Tyson just started building up to the mania and everything, so I kinda like this design. I like the way that he animated Sonic, like the way he's supposed to look, the facial expressions, the way he's supposed to move with the fluid animation. I love the style of his art and everything. That's what I kinda expected from this show, but knowing now that he's not a part of it, it gives me very high hopes that it's probably not good. I'm not saying it's gonna be bad. I'm just saying it's probably gonna be a 50-50. I'll have to watch it first. I'm not gonna say, but knowing that we got the Mega Man people behind that stuff is... Oof. Did I mention I was tired? <laughs> So Tyson has also had to add to a part of this, saying that if he were to have been a part of the actual Netflix show, he says he would have done it with a modern Sonic world and not a classic Sonic direction, uh, which I believe kind of fits best because Sega's been reusing classic Sonic a lot recently and a lot of people are not liking it. I like classic Sonic in generations, it fit there. It didn't really fit well in the forces. The gameplay in Generations was amazing. I like the classic gameplay in that one. In forces, he was complete garbage. He controlled very bad. He was very floaty, yet heavy at the same time. I don't know who still does that. It's been like already almost two over two years, if not probably over like some time as hell. But yeah, this is what Tyson had to say about the classic Sonic route not being chosen and going for a more modern thing. For what it's worth, I probably wouldn't have chosen to do a classic show anyway. Sega is never going to return to classic Sonic wholesale, and the split isn't doing the franchise any favors. This kind of means that they're probably not going to do the same thing as with Generations and Forces, that are going to put two Sonics in one game, like they've got the classic one to represent the classic games, and we have the modern one to represent the more future modern games, hence classic, modern, Sonic. You get it by now, I hope. 
I guess what he's saying is that Sega is gonna put Classic Sonic away for a while and they're gonna focus more on Modern Sonic. This is what I actually kind of wanted from the new games. Like, forget about the Classic Sonic, I don't mind it. Just don't want to see it repetitive. We already got him in two games with Modern Sonic. I don't want to see that. Mobile games don't count, by the way, so I just want to point that out. But yeah, knowing that um, Sison has said this, that Sega's not going back to Classic Sonic, like, again, for a long time. I'm not saying they're gonna chuck him out forever. I'm saying that they're gonna focus more on the modern stuff and forget about Classic Sonic for now. Uh, is really good to me. I really love that they're going in that direction and I hope they expand on that. that those are just my opinions. I don't know what you guys think. But uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say. Like, you know, I mean, it's sad that Tyson is not working on it, but I'm also happy that he's not because if it wasn't for Tyson in the first movie, I don't think we would have had the Sonic movie sequel. Never. I doubt that that would have happened. So I'm kinda happy, like, I guess, I don't know, I mean, when it comes to this show, I hope it's the Ben 10s, you know, people that do the main thing, like the animation and the writing and everything, and then just leave the other company out of it for now. I don't really like it, I kinda liked how they went with the Ben 10 company and everything, but then the other company which made, like, Teletubbies and, you know, yeah. Also the Mega Man show, I actually watched an episode. Not good at all. <laughs> not good. No, that's not good. So, please. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. Um, Tyson Hess is not being part of the show, but he actually had some thoughts about talking about it, so I don't know. And also, Sega saying that they're not going back to Classic Sonic, so... I don't know, we'll see what the future holds, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to all of this down in the description. Uh, all located on Tales Channel. I highly recommend you follow them, that's where I got all my news and updates, so yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna go back to bed now, because it's like 3.34 in the morning right now, and I'm I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, um, don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, share. I gotta wake up early just so I can stream Sonic Adventure for you guys. Anyways, I'm off back to bed. So, uh, goodbye. Mm.